Well, I'm saying the anticipation is over with. So. Time. Like I got into Beaumont at one o'clock. <laughs> same old, same old opening statement and question. Opening statement, and then we'll open it up for questions. Well, I thought it was a good team win for us. Uh, something that we all needed. Uh, thing I really liked about the game. I didn't like falling behind, but uh, to be 11 points down. In the fourth quarter, we had to do a lot of things right on both sides of the ball and in the kicking game to, to give ourselves a chance. And uh, I thought we did in all three phases in the fourth quarter. Uh, defensively, we got some big stops. Uh, we came up with the plays on offense we need uh, to get down the red zone twice and score. Kicking game was solid uh, in the fourth quarter. Big punt late to, to pin them down in the, on the 10-yard line. And just uh, a good team win for us. Very proud of the way our players uh, – kind of put Sam Houston uh, behind him and, and really prepared properly and played well on the road and uh, had a good, good team win for us. The, the bad news is uh, fly home and in a great mood and uh, get up Sunday in, in a good mood and then turn on Southeast and go, oh, boy, I mean, it's a good football team coming in. Uh, and It's just almost the opposite of last week. Um, last week we couldn't sit around and think about Sam Houston and let it affect – our preparation for Abilene Christian this week. Uh, we can't sit around and think about this win because we've got a really good team uh, coming here this week, and, and that's what this league is like. Uh, and so we're going to have to just, uh, uh, you know, just, just like we did last week, put this one behind us and move on. Questions? Yes, so this game is uh, it's on October 11th, and it's been unveiled that, uh, that this has been a plague for Lamar University, that since the 1950s, Lamar is one in four all time. On October 11th, you just turned the calendar. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a stat I didn't know. Well, uh, wow, I don't even know what to say to that. One in, one in, uh, one in four. Who'd we beat? Uh, was it Southern, Southern Illinois? Southern Southern Illinois. Illinois. Okay, uh, okay uh, well, okay, let's, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, next. <laughs> next question. I don't know. I, I haven't done that. I know road wins are hard to come by. Conference road wins are even harder to come by. Uh, you know, this was a good test for us. Uh, boy, you, you know, you wanted to put in a good week and go down there and really get off to a great start. That didn't happen. Uh, it was a seesaw game. They scored first. Then we scored the next 10 and went in feeling pretty good, 10-7, to seven, came out and and really got outplayed in the third quarter. They did more things right than we did, got down 11 points. So it was just a seesaw game. But uh, I'll say this, it's a very satisfying uh, win to watch and be a part of because I thought our players really hung in there and played well when they had to. Bring us back to the, the, the fourth down call there, of course. And, you know, it worked out perfectly. You get the touchdown, you, you win the game. Uh, what was the reasoning in deciding to go for the touchdown and not kick the field goal side? Well, uh, at that point, if we didn't have all three of our timeouts left, I probably would have kicked it. Uh, having all of our timeouts left, I thought if uh, if uh, we didn't score the touchdown to go ahead, uh, we would put our defense out there and still give us a chance to get the ball late to drive down and try a game tying field goal. Uh, and at that point, uh, our, our kicking game had not been uh, where I wanted it to be, and I, I thought I'd rather put it in the hands of 11 guys at that point, and uh, I'm glad it paid off for us. Coach, talk a little bit about uh, how pleased you were to see Kate Harrington looking like he returned to form that he had last season, looked healthy, ran with authority. Can I talk about how, how, much, how happy that made you? Yeah, uh, you know, it was good. I, I thought Sam Houston, um, he tried, but he just was a little rusty. I thought with another week of practice, uh, he, he had a little extra gear that he didn't have. Uh, it was a big part of the game. We had to run the football uh, and not become one-dimensional. And, and his uh, running and, and uh, his rushing and the yards that we got was huge in the game, and uh, it's good to have him back. This week you have another opportunity, Southeast, when they just mm -hmm. moved up to number nine in the nation. And you said that this program needs to knock off that first-ranked opponent, you know, to kind of put a stamp on the South End Conference that you are a contender. How exciting is it knowing that a top-ten opponent is coming to Beaumont? It is, and, uh, and we're going to have a few opportunities. I think uh, Mike Neese will stay ranked. Uh, 
Central Arkansas, I think, is getting in the polls now. So uh, we're going to have uh, a few opportunities. This is our next one. What I like to see uh, happen between kickoff and, and, and now is for us to prepare right and play better than we did against Sam. I think Sam, uh, anybody that saw the game, uh, has to give them credit. They outplayed us. They did more things right than we did, but we need to close the gap. Uh, we need to uh, play uh, uh, closer uh, to perfect than we did against them. We just too many turnovers, too many mistakes against Sam, that, and we want to come out and play better as a football team. Well, they got a lot of the same guys back with, with the Catalyst being their, their quarterback minutes back. Uh, a lot of experience, in, and they're even better because they're coming back with confidence having went through the league undefeated last year. So uh, that part of it, uh, you don't prepare any differently. You know, uh, they're going to throw it and run it. They're not just a one-dimensional football team. Uh, and you're just going to have to play. You're going to have to read your keys and play and, and run the defense that's called and Coach McGahan and his staff is going to do a good job of trying to mix it up on them, but uh, got to play the game. Coach, last year, I mean, obviously, it ended because from a losing end, but you did put up, you know, more than 30 points on them. Obviously, your offense was able to score. What kind of confidence does that give you this time in the ground with a lot of your top-notch players from last year's offense back as well? Well, we, f we feel like we moved the ball on anybody. Uh, we don't do it all the time, but we, we feel like we can. We feel we got some confidence. Uh, we feel like it's the strength of our ball club, and and then I think to beat uh, Southeast, we're going to have to outscore them. I, I think they're too explosive offensively, and I'm not taking any way thing away from their defense because they're they're playing well. Uh, just come off a very good uh, defensive performance against Northwest, but uh, uh, you know we have a work cut out for them. It's a good football team. Well, you know, when uh, when things are right here, the weather's right, and and, and uh, we get our crowd here, we got a great advantage. Uh, uh, it's a it's a great opportunity for all of us to play better. I'd like to see our offensive, or I'd like to see me do a better job uh, and, and get better. I'd like to see our offensive get better, our defense get better. I'd like to see our crowd get better. I think we all kind of feed off of one another. Uh, this is a big opportunity for us, uh, and I'd like to see us all step up. Kickoff coverage was still a little suspect at uh, Abilene Christian at times. We we covered and tackled some at times, but overall we're still a little in inconsistent there. Uh, the return games were much better. Uh, Juan did a heck of a job punting the ball. I think he had a 46-yard average out there, really punted the ball well. So we're getting better, but we're, we're still a work in progress. We still uh, need to chore up some things. I don't think so. Uh, the couple that were coming off the field uh, were cramps. Mark Roberts and uh, Xavier Bethany were the two that, that really came off the field. But uh, looking at the injury report today, I, I don't think uh, we lost anybody. And, and I, I don't think uh, – I think we'll get maybe a couple guys back. We're still kind of waiting on you know, Michael Sheridan played a little bit. But he'll get a little better this week. And we're still waiting on Colby Campbell. But uh, we're – for this type, time of year, uh, uh, we're pretty healthy. A uh, couple things. Uh, I think maturity. I think uh, our older players have been here a while and uh, understand how tough this league is and how you're going to get down even though you don't want to. Uh, and I think we just got a lot of desire. I've said it, and I think people think I'm just trying to promote the team. This is an easy bunch to coach. They come to work every day, and, and they work hard, and there's a lot of want to in this bunch. And uh, I was proud for them because they've worked extremely hard, and, and they needed to have – their hard work pay off, and it was. Yeah, I was very happy for our players. What do you think about ACU making their transition up and now going to the Division One level? They've already beaten Troy this year. Should have beat Georgia State. Uh, what are your impressions of them and what they're going to bring to the Southland in the future? Well, they're even more impressive on the hoof than they were 
on film, uh, just break them down. Big physical offensive line, uh, a quarterback that's a playmaker, running backs, they got three of them that can come in and out in, in a receiving core that's very good. Defensive line, uh, they're, they're two guys inside, are very good, big push guys. They got a defensive end that's uh, their all time sack leader. Uh, they're, they're Getting better on the back end, that's probably where they have the most uh, inconsistent plays on their back end defensively, but they're getting better. Just, uh, I thought, first of all, they were a very good Division II program with lots of tradition. Uh, I, I thought they had a good plan moving up. Uh, they've they've uh, transitioned well, and they're going to be a heck of, a, of an asset and a, and a compliment to the rest of us in this league, and, and they're going to be a team to be dealt with the rest of this year. They're not through yet. Uh, they're they're going to make some noise in the rest of the conference play this year. Any other questions? Just real quick, while everybody's here, the, the week of the off week, uh, how do you want to handle the, the press conference with the, the bye week coming up? Um, we need to have one. Probably thinking maybe that, that week before we get ready to play.